at the I am live. Don't be surprised. Uh, Chocolate Johnny, he is here. He is just having some uh, technical issues to log into the using the B Live link to join the live. But he's trying. He's trying to use his cell phone. So as soon as he um, successfully logged in, and we should be able to see him. I hope so. Hey, Natasha. And、uh, thank you so much for being here. My name is I. I'm the host of this weekly Facebook live show, Classroom Without Walls: Using Technology to Reimagine Education. I created this show because I believe our society has changed a lot. Social media and technology play a huge role in our changing society. As educators and even as practitioners, we need to change how we used to teach and how we used to do things. On this show, I interview leading professionals like Chocolate Johnny, who is going to join us in a few seconds, and、uh, educators regarding issues related to social media, technology, and education. If you are new to the show, thank you so much for being here. And、uh, if you are returning attendee, Natasha, Suzanne, Zella, and、uh, oh my God, so many friends are here. Thank you so much. Kasvadai is here. Oh wow! And、uh, so you know how much I appreciate you and how much your support means to me. And if you are watching this on replay, thank you so so much, future people. Today I'm so honored to have uh, John uh, John Capos or Chocolate Johnny join us live from Sydney, Australia. Let me just check on my Facebook Messenger. To see if John, hold on. I'm asking him if John can、um, can join us. And you know, with B Live, and sometimes you really、uh, you really have this type of problems. Yes. So hopefully, and、uh, he can join us soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and introduce. Uh, Chocolate Johnny and Antonio's and Shwo and thank you so and Des oh you guys are so sweet and do you love chocolate? <laughs> Type in the comments. I am a huge fan of chocolate. So John is a business owner of a small chocolate shop in Sydney, Australia, and he has been、uh, using live streaming for the for almost three years and doing live streaming really scaled his business. I had the honor to watch and listen John present at last year's Social Media Marketing World Conference in San Diego, and his presentation was amazing. He was so kind. He brought chocolate all over from、uh, Sydney, Australia, to San Diego for the speakers, attendees, volunteers, and everyone. It was such a amazing presentation, and even to this day, I still remember his. Oh, looks like Joe is here. <laughs> hey, Joe! Thank you so much for being here. I was just introducing you and telling everyone how amazing you are <laughs> and your presentation at last year's uh, uh, conference in San Diego. So I'm so happy you are here now. Ah,、uh, firstly, I just want to apologize. Can you see me? Is it, because I can't see my my face at all. So I don't know、oh, what's、really? going. It doesn't matter as long as you can see me, I and that's fine with me. Oh, I can see you. Let me know,、uh, everyone in the audience. Can you guys see、uh, John? And I can see him clearly. I can also hear him clearly. We have a very global audience here. Chocolate Johnny. We have people from Greece, from UK, from the US, from Slovenia, and all over the globe. And、um, thank you、we're, so much. For- You know that I'm Greek. That I was I was born in Australia, but my parents are Greek. So the pe- people from Greece, Yasu Tikana, there. So that means good day.、Oh, how are you? <laughs> Antonios is from Greece, and my dear friend Natasha is、uh, also. Uh, yeah. Oh, on, do you know Natasha? No, no, no. I just saw Antonios. His name Yasu Antonio Tikanis. So I'm just saying hello to him. Yeah, Natasha is also it, from Greece. 
one of your biggest, they're your biggest fans. <laughs> yes, oh, no, they are yours. Everyone's like chocolate Johnny. We love you, and we love chocolate. And as I mentioned, uh, guys, and um, well, hi, Jean. Thank you so much for being here. And if you don't mind sharing this show with your friends on different social channels, and、uh, I am going to select a winner, and we are going to do a giveaway of a box of Perfection chocolate. I had an honor to taste some Perfection chocolate last year. It is the best. It is perfect. So if you can share. And we are going to select one winner and to give、uh, a box of the best and the perfect chocolate from Perfection Chocolate. And yeah, it, doesn't, write... it, do, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, whether you're in Greenland, Iceland, Greece,、uh, Germany, China, Japan. We don't care. <laughs> we will send you that box of chocolates, and、um, we'll find we'll find a way of picking a random winner. Right, I. Yes, yes, we're going to、uh, choose a random winner and、uh, and taste the best chocolate. We have more friends here. Oh, thank you, David is here. Oh, thank you for coming here, David and、uh, Krista. Thank you so much for being here. And I already introduced you,、uh, Chocolate Johnny. And I'm just going to get started with the questions. And everyone in the audience, oh, dear Joy is here. Thank you. And if you have any question, we are discussing live streaming today and how we can scale. Our business and our personal or business brand by using live video and live streaming. So, if you have any question related to live video, please type in the comments and don't forget to share our video so that you can get、uh, some giveaway and、uh, the best chocolate. So, I'm going to start it, get started here with the first question,、uh, John. Can you see people's comments? Uh, I could just see when they come up a little bit, but no.、Uh, okay. okay, good, good, good. So as I introduced you earlier, you are the owner of a small chocolate shop in Sydney, Australia. So how did the idea of live streaming come to you? What inspired、uh, you to be on this journey? <laughs> Do you want to know the truth? I've always wanted to be a TV host or be on TV. <laughs> I've always,、uh, I, as a little boy, I've dreamed of being a TV host of my own show,、um, and I owned a Super 8 camera, film camera. My dad bought it for me as a present when I was, I think, thirteen or fourteen. Um, and then I bought a video camera, and I carried this massive video camera when I travelled around Europe. <laughs> I had no luggage except this video camera, so I was always、uh, interested in video. I was always interested in live.、Um, it, it always I was drawn to it. And then、um, you know I started seeing live. It was it was pretty expensive、uh, when it was on the computers and and stuff like that. And then Meerkat came. I don't know if anyone remembers Meerkat. Uh, yeah. that, that, then、uh, Meerkat and Periscope literally were released about the same time, and I downloaded both the apps.、Um, and once I downloaded Meerkat, I downloaded Periscope. I put on Meerkat. I pressed it; it wouldn't work. I pushed it; it wouldn't work. I'm ah,、oh, well, all right. Let's try Periscope. Push the button. April the first, two thousand and fifteen. I downloaded on the first day it was released, and. Uh, I was at near a beach called Tamarama Beach, and I just started broadcasting. And thirty people were on talking to me, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, hi, <laughs> this is good. this is good fun. People are talking to me. I can see that. I didn't know what I was doing. I think no one knows knew what they, what they were doing except the developers. And from then on, that was that was it. I I just wanted to see what happened. I、um, I loved it. And isn't it funny how I. Meerkat's gone, but Periscope has skyrocketed. So I was quite fortunate because I had a lot of friends who transitioned from Meerkat to Periscope. They had you know thirty, forty, fifty thousand followers, and they had to start all over again. So yeah, that that gave me the idea, and of course the business mind comes in straight away and thinking, how can I utilize?、Uh, and I, you've known me for a while. I'm an early adopter. I love, I love. My phone is full of apps. I just I'll download everything and anything. I'll push the button. I'll see how it works. What? How can I utilize it for my business? And how can I utilize it to help others in business too? Where can I take it to that next level? What can I do with it that sort of pushes people uh, uh, through their comfort zone? So yeah, that's that. Yeah, that gave me the idea to live stream for Perfection Chocolates, and I'm lucky because who doesn't love chocolate, right? 
Yes, I already asked that question. Everyone in the audience love the chocolate, love chocolate, and I'm telling you guys, perfection chocolate is the best. So that, I hope one of you is going to taste it、uh, quite soon. So this is、uh, this is amazing, Johnny, and、uh, you have been on this journey for almost three years. I wonder if you can share with everyone in the live audience how has live streaming benefited your business. And、uh, if you can also share some like top benefits and maybe one or two memorable stories that、uh, uh, from doing this. Yeah.、Uh, what? Oh my gosh. Where? Really, my journey started ten years ago when I was on YouTube, and I and I did my first YouTube video ten years ago. I know it wasn't live, but. Yeah, truly, three years ago was the the live stream journey where I knew that I could push the button and I could have access to millions of people around the world. Well, I don't have access to millions of people around the world. Oh well, no, I do have it, but I wish I had them on on my on my live stream. But I've built、um, a community, I've built a, a base, I've built a family, I've built mates, I've made them feel welcome into my into my home, into my business, into my life. So. Um, that that's ju- just that in itself is so inspirational that I could push the button, I could broadcast, and I could help that just one person.、Um, you know, the biggest thing for me, and, and I never thought it was a big deal until someone pointed it out, until my coach and a few of my friends pointed out that I've had so far seventy nine people have come into my store. So my little chocolate shop in Rose Bay, Sydney, Australia. That is only known as a local brand, but we have built a reputation. Before that, we've had some famous people come into our store. I can name you,、um, you know, Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman. I don't want to name names, but 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 I will because I I should I, I've been told. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks,、um, Nicole Kidman, <laughs> Barbara Streisand used to eat our Rocky Road. Um, Angelina Jolie,、uh, <gasps> Bru- Bru- did I say Bruce Springsteen? The Prime Minister comes in all the time. I've had three Prime Ministers,、uh, oh、people from、God. from the local area. Yeah, we've we've had, you know, and the Pope has eaten my strawberry creams. That's a good story. But but that that's all before social media. Fast forward social media, and it gets even better because these people see your product, they hear about you. And we've got a rule. Russell Crowe comes quite a bit as well, but we don't advertise that because we like to be discreet for them. They feel comfortable coming into our store. They'll see us on social media and they'll come in. They'll try the product. I mean, I have a, a lady, Jessica Rose. She's a famous TV presenter on Channel、uh, Channel Ten here in Australia. She did something for me on Instagram. I didn't ask her, but she did it. She's got a hundred thousand followers. I didn't ask her to do it, but she did it. Uh, but so far through Periscope, this is the other thing. I've got seventy-nine people who have come into my store who've watched me on Periscope. Seventy-nine people. I thought, wow, that's no big deal. But when I look at it, New York, London, Paris,、uh, Sweden, Iceland,、um, New Zealand, China, Japan. These people have watched me online on live streaming and said, "I want to go meet Chocolate Johnny." I had a, a, a comedian. She landed in Australia. She's、uh, she's a famous comedian, and she she was periscoping, and everyone she's saying, "Come on, people, where should I go? Tell me where should I Opera House, Harbour Bridge." They say, "No, no, go home, go to the hotel, have a shower, and go see Chocolate Johnny." And I'm like, "What? That is just so lovely that that、uh, all that hard work that I've done has inspired these people to come to my business." And then people are going to say, "Okay, big deal." Well, those people have bought my product. Those people continue、yeah. buying my product. Those people buy online. Those people tell their friends, and so I go to social media marketing. Well, I give you some chocolate. I give a bit of chocolate away. You've never you 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 one day might say, "My、oh、gosh, I've got a friend in Sydney. I'll go to Chocolate Johnny. I want to send them a gift." You might not do it today, tomorrow, or the next, but you will do it. I've planted、Absolutely. that seed. This is what I say to small businesses: plant the seed, guys. Plant it. Ground your foundation. Fix your foundation up. Build the relationship first. Build the trust, and watch your business grow. So, you know,、uh, what's a memorable moment is I think I did a. I was told, do this periscope, do a periscope, do this live stream. I said, no, I don't want to do it. And I did one of caramel. So I had、uh, caramel. I didn't want to do it. I just, and I had one hundred and fifteen thousand viewers. Now,、uh, I mean, 
I know. I'm, I'm like, what? Did, did I just see 115,000 viewers? So stuff like that. And I, I made $3,000 from that broadcast because I, oh I, didn't, yeah, I didn't want to do it, but I did it. This is what I'm saying with them. This is what I'm going to keep emphasizing with people. When you and I talk, I push the broadcast button. You don't know what could happen. And so, yeah, that's um, the, the benefits of it are, are phenomenal for your business. And people say to me, oh, you've got a chocolate business. I can tell you a lot of businesses uh, that I coach and that I help that, that a butcher shop, you know, people are going to say, oh, what's a butcher shop going to do? Well, we're sitting down doing strategies for him about how to, how to look at good meat, how to process the meat at home, how to cut the meat, how to put it on the barbecue, how to season it, how to do recipes. What an amazing thing. A florist, how to do designs in, in how to pick a good flower. I've got, I'm helping a guy who's a funeral director. Now, people are saying, what? Well, he's going to teach uh, how to write a good eulogy. Unfortunately, a, a lot of us, everyone around this world has to uh, someday go to a funeral and we don't know who it's going to be. But he wants to be the happy funeral director. You know, uh, I've got a, a, a financial uh, planner. He says, oh, what am I going to do? Well, show people the basic stuff about financial planning. So push that start broadcast button. You know, your business could change so dramatically. So, you know, and now look at me. Like we met last year. We, we've been following each other online. I, my dream has always to be a social media speaker, a speaker around the world. And last year I got to speak in three countries around the world. I meant, oh, two, but, and New Zealand. So, and in Australia. And so, yeah, it, it's the benefits at far outweigh for your fear because if you've got fear in your head, it doesn't give you enough room to put the dreams in. So take the fear out of your head, push the button. I don't care if your hair's not curly or straight or you haven't put makeup on. People want to hear your story. This is gold, Johnny. This is absolutely the case. You know, like I think for me, when I just started my journey, I also had lots of fear. But I think, as you mentioned, if we focus on the story, the value we are providing, we are serving our audience. And I think that removed the fear a lot. And uh, that's my biggest takeaway from your presentation from last year, which is press the damn button. But, <laughs> I, I mean, you should, be, look, you should be so proud of yourself. You're an educator and, and you're an academic. And I love that you're on here doing this. You have, totally, uh, you have totally opened the cage up for so many other people who are academically, who, you know, who aren't in business, who could help me who I need more educating. I need, I'm, a, I'm a teacher to learn and I learn to teach. So by listening to you, by reading your, pod, your podcast, your LinkedIn, to listen to you on, on uh, interview other people, I love it because that you've inspired other educators, other academics to say, wow. hang on a moment, I've got something here as well. Maybe I'm not uh, you know, digital marketing, but may, I could be doing, um, you know, psychology. I could be a psychotherapist. Absolutely. I could be a sports, so, you know, I could be a physiotherapist. So, yeah, what you're doing is amazing. You should oh, be really, thank you. really proud of yourself. Well done. Thank you so much. And I believe so. That's why I called my show, you know, Classroom Without Walls. And I think yeah, I that's the future of education and learning because we don't have to go inside the classroom to learn. Everyone, everyone in the audience, you are a teacher. We are teachers and students at the same time. So we're here to learn and to co-create content and to learn from each other. And I'm just looking at this comment from uh, Suzanne. It is incredible, like, how much success you have, John. And how about for some people who are just getting started on this journey and I wonder how long does it take for you to achieve this like massive success in terms of you mentioned like numbers, how many people joined and uh, purchased your chocolate as a result of your live streaming. So I wonder if you can share with us some like strategies or tactics for people who are starting out on this journey so that they can also leverage the power of live streaming or live video to scale their business or to improve their personal brand? Look, I, I think the first thing I tell everyone is push. Yeah, I'm just looking at everyone. Okay, all right. Push the start broadcast button. Someone's going to watch you. Someone's going to listen. We all start with zero followers. Listen carefully. 
Zero followers, zero hearts, zero likes, zero, zero, zero. Everyone mm -hmm. starts with zero. But remember one thing that's more important than anything else. You are different from everyone else. And you have a story and everyone needs to hear it. You have a story. There's someone out there who needs to hear your story that is going to change their life. You might not think so now, but seriously, at one point when you push that button and tell your story that you maybe went through depression or you um, had a baby or you um, discovered uh, how to do a, something in science or you found a, discovered a star or you know about permaculture and fixing the environment, that could help someone dramatically. Don't be afraid and don't deny yourself and them. So just do, that's, that's a, just do it. You, you really uh, have to start and start today. And if you're not comfortable doing it, if you're saying to yourself, oh, I don't look pretty or I don't have hair, I have big <laughs> eyebrows or I don't have eyelashes or I have white <laughs> teeth or I have an accent, forget it. Who cares? We actually, the, the people watching don't care. The people care of what's going to come out of your mouth. And at the beginning, you're not going to say the right thing and you're going to um and you're going to ah and, and you're going to knock over. And, and all of a sudden, oh, no, it's tipped over. And, oh, I'm like, you know, just keep doing it. People love it. Look at I. She's smiling. She's laughing because she sees the raw, the real, the, the genuine, the authentic. That's what people want. People want. And when you get to meet these people, then, then they go, oh, wow, he is or she is exactly what she does online. The people who are faking it won't make it. That fake it till you make it stuff, I never liked mm. it. It'll never work and you'll eventually get caught out. So I think just push the button. If you're shy, turn the camera around and go for a walk down your street. And, and just as a training, as your first one, describe what's in your area. Oh, this is a tree. This is a thing. And it might sound boring, but it gives you practice. It, then listen to your, then listen to it. I know people hate listening to themselves, but listen to it. You know, did you say the right thing? How you said it, your punctuation. And then sometimes you just have some fun. Get on there and, and make people laugh. So, yeah, yeah. And then once that, that happens, once you build that up, then you learn the strategies about the new, a good phone or a good camera, a, new, a microphone. Uh, lighting, etc. But the, those people there, I know there's so many people out there who are just sitting there like, what do I do? What do I do? Just, do I push the button? Yeah, just push it. And always yeah. write in your title, always write in your title, hi, this is my first broadcast. Mm, that's a great tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people are nice and kind. Yeah, yeah and you, you mentioned that? so many things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like people come here for your content, you know, for a long time. I'm also really concerned about my accent, as you can tell. I have an accent, but that really? shouldn't stop me. Oh. <laughs> no, yeah. and that, but, but that's no, I, that's the great thing that we love about you, that you, you don't let that hinder you because there's so many other people who have an accent, who are from uh, Russia or, or Japan or from uh, the Philippines, and they go, oh, no, I can't. But you know what? You show people that, no, you can do it too. I've got something to say. I want you to hear me. I've got a story. I'm here to teach. I've got a classroom without any walls. Please come into my classroom and let me help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is great. I'm just looking at these comments from Zella. I, I also remember those like videos I watched on Snapchat. It's just so authentic and so genuine. And then you just remember those things and relate <laughs> to what you do a lot better. Exactly. So, and um, I just kind of transition to, oh, another question I think I saw in the comments is, will you just get started? And uh, like, how much attention do you pay to numbers? Meaning like, how many people are viewing you? I don't care. Um, I have, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, here's another tip. This is your first broadcast. I want you to get this stuff here. This is called blue tack in Australia. I don't know what you call it in around the world. It's called blue tack, and you roll it up in your fingers. You know, you stick, um, you can stick posters on and stuff like that. Do you know what this is? Have you seen this stuff before? You, might, you guys must have it. 
Yeah. It's blue. We call it blue tack or, or you guys, I don't know. Anyway, um, I put this in front of Periscope's numbers. So I will stick that on, on the numbers. So I will not see the numbers when I go on live. Wow. I don't care. I love that. Because if I start looking at the numbers, and the other thing too, if I start looking at the numbers, oh, who's on? No one's on. I still, I do this on Facebook as well. I click uh, where, the, where it says the numbers, I put it on my Facebook broadcast as well. Because all I care about is the comments. Because that person who's making the comment, that's the person who's watching me. That person may be that just one person. And if they're not watching, I'll still talk to them as a replay viewer. If I get zero on there, I don't know. If I've got this little piece of blue tack or I don't know, whatever you guys call it. Um, if I've got no one watching, I don't know that no one's watching. <laughs> I don't, so I just keep talking. And then I don't have to worry about it. It doesn't go into my head. It does. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling, I'm insecure enough. Everyone's got insecurities. I, so I, don't, need, I don't need another one. You know? I don't need a, another thing to make me feel insecure. So I might as well put a bit of blue tack, block how many numbers I've got, and then look at the comments later. And if no one comments, that's okay. One day someone will. One oh, day this is, someone will. This is, this is gold. I rem- oh, I love this. I remember why this started. I, I was a little bit concerned about the numbers, but now I don't. You know, I focus on the community, community, and the comments from people. I remember even Gary V shared when he just started the first several years. Nobody gave a crap what he was doing and what he was talking about. And so I think this is really a great piece of advice because I hear this a lot. What if nobody's consuming my content? What, what if nobody's joining me live? So I think that should really uh, encourage everyone in the audience just to press that button and don't be so scared or uh, concerned about the number. And I'm going to apply this, Johnny, to put a, like kind of a sticker note and to cover the number. The other thing too is if you, if, if you worry about the numbers from the go and straight away and you're thinking about them, you give up. People that, mm. you know, you'll do a broadcast, no one, another one, no one, no one, no one, no one. It keeps going, it keeps going. And, that, and then you decide, okay, that's enough. You've done 20 of them, no one's come on. All of a sudden, had you stayed for that one more, that 21st, mm-hmm. you would have had your se- second viewer, two viewers. You stay for your th- th- 23rd, five viewers, 10 yes. viewers. And then all of a sudden, you've got a community. And then that's it. You just keep going. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love the community I'm building here. I appreciate every single person in this community. You guys are just so amazing. I love this comment uh, from Dear Jo. She was saying that she had her clients doing this, but she never did it herself. So I really hope today our uh, interview with uh, Chocolate Johnny can inspire you, Dear Jo. Just press the button and don't be so concerned about numbers, all those things, and focus on your content. And uh, I'm just going to move on to my next question. And recently, Facebook had some big algorithm changes. You know, I loved how you responded to this in a a LinkedIn post, Johnny. And you discussed the importance of being authentic, transparent, community building. And you also talked about five C's, including, (laughs) yeah, community and communication, cooperation, creativity. And I'm probably missing some. So can you please elaborate more on your response to this Facebook algorithm change? And what does this mean to us who are live (laughs) videos or live streamers? Yeah, I, you know what? I've realized I can't keep up with the changes that Mark Zuckerberg and um, all the other guys who own these programs, I can't keep up with the algorithm changes because they're changing all the time. They don't even tell us when they change it. They, they just tell us when the big ones are and it puts the fear into us. Oh, what am I going to do? What I've realized over these changes is if you just keep doing the same thing, t- tweak it a little bit, just be, uh, just be yourself, you know, put out the content, um, <laughs> it's funny. I let the digital marketers, you know, all the, I let them go panic and worry about it and write about it. And I listen to them gripe about it. So then I learn from them what the problem is. Like, oh, okay. Thank you, digital marketers. Now this is what you're telling me about it. Okay, fine. And I just keep doing what I'm doing. 
Uh, and that's why I said to you um, about the five C's. Zuckerberg is going back to the beginning. He wants authentic. He wants uh, community building. He wants cooperation. So I said, so, you know, you said to me, what does the changes mean to live streamers? Well, firstly, the first C, communication. But you have to have better communication. You have to step up onto your communication skills. And if you don't have it, start learning, look at people who have got it and copy them and then take your own twist to it. Um, becoming more creative. Start thinking out of the bird cage of millions of people in this little bird cage. We're all doing the same thing. Open that cage door, let yourself loose and don't be afraid what people are going to think. Who cares? Who exactly. cares? Who cares? Like, I love this. Who cares? Really? It's none of your business what they think of you. So who cares? Someone will. And that's the only thing you need to worry about. If you worry about the people, the more people not caring, uh, who cares, then you'll be right. The, you, you should worry about the people that do care. And then, of course, engaging with your community, the, the other C. So we've got communication, creative, and then engaging with your community because that's the most important. Zuckerberg and, and everyone else, whatever you're on, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it, they want to see engagement. You're on LinkedIn when you write an article on LinkedIn, they want people to like it, comment, and, and, and build that community. And then cooperation. It's stuff like this. I says to me, hey, Chocolate Johnny, I'd love you to come on to my podcast. I'm on. Not a problem. I, I, go, I, I don't think I've said no to anyone on podcast. It is, it is the best way to get your name out there. And what's it take? Half an hour, an hour to talk? Uh, I have, and I've already built a relationship, so it's much easier anyway. And that's how I do the cooperating because then I'll, one day when I do the Chocolate Johnny live show, I'm going to ask the woman, the doctor who's behind, the, the, um, the, the great uh, educator who has no walls in her classroom. So, you know, I's going to be a guest on my show. I's going to tell me some amazing things. I's going to help my community. I's going to engage with my people. And she's going to see my people as well, and they're going to see her. And then, of course, collaborating. You know, I said, make sure you collaborate with your peers because um, that's really important. You want to help each other out. You want to celebrate each other. When I hear some of my friends who are doing well, I'll message them straight away. G'day, mate. Congratulations. So proud of you. Well done. That's what, and they go, oh, thanks, Chocolate Johnny. Really appreciate it. And if you can collaborate with peers who, are, who, are, um, who you look up to, if you can get in their face, not even like running up to them, but well, I've done that, but get into their face, get them to know. I did Instagram lives. I do all Instagram lives. I do Facebook lives. I do, um, oh my gosh, what else do I do? Instagram live, Facebook lives, lively. I do so many, so many things. Now, Instagram live, you can become uh, a guest. You can do a broadcast like this. The other day, I got on with Pat Flynn. Everyone knows who oh, Pat wow. Flynn is. I just clicked it. He said, hey, Chocolate Johnny, how are you? Uh, Sue B. Zimmerman. I clicked the button, got on with her. I've been trying to get Gary V, but he hasn't accepted <laughs> my request yet. I don't care. I just push the button. I just hit it. If he's, if he, if one day, I'm going to screenshot it, and I'm going to do it. Uh, all these people who I looked up to who are now are my peers want to talk to me and with me. So that's what I mean with collaborating with your peers and a little bit better. So you can become yes. that, that, that person and get there to that next level. That's, that's, that's absolutely gold. And I love how you collaborate with others. I remember Brent Fenzel, uh, when he was at my show, he no. mentioned – uh, the future of business is collaboration. I truly believe that. And social media is such a perfect channel for people to get to know each other and to engage in collaboration. And I also love this comment from Zala, you know, social is a two-way street. You know, don't just always take, take, take without supporting others. And you have to serve and give first before you ask for anything in return. So I really love that. And it's such a great comment. I mean, it's the same as, you know, the famous, the famous book, you know. Oh, Jeff, guess Jeff, who's right? here? Who? Hey, Mel. How are you? And, uh, now, oh, it's so great to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry Max. to interrupt you. No, that's all right. <laughs> hey, Max, how are you? Um, you know, the famous Gary V says, jab, jab, right hook. And it's all about give, 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 give. And not take, it's ask. It's always ask. 
And what's the worst thing they're going to say? One or the other, they're going to say yes or no. And if they say no, well, you never had it, so don't worry about it. If they say yes, then you're, you, know, you get it. Mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly. And everyone in the audience,、uh, I see that、uh, quite a few people join us late, and we are doing going to do a free giveaway of the best perfection chocolate. The only thing you need to do is to share our interview on your social channel, and、uh, we are going to randomly select a winner to give you a, a free sample of perfection chocolate. And we are also trying to wrap up here. So if you have any last minute question, please type in the comments section. And、uh, I'm just going to move on with kind of my last question,、uh, Johnny here. And you recently kind of expanded yourself from being、uh, the owner of a, a physical shop to an online entrepreneur, and I love that. So can you please share with us, like, what motivated you to, like, kind of reinventing yourself a little bit more here, and what have you learned on this journey so far? Uh, well, yeah, I finally have declared myself as an online entrepreneur because I sold one of my courses. <laughs> so that classifies me as uh, one. Uh, I've sold one. I've got. A, I'm doing a beta test. I'm looking for actually beta testers for my um, small um, online um, social media. Oh my gosh! I'm looking for beta testers for my、um, live streaming. How to live stream for your small business? So, if there's anyone out there who wants to become a beta tester, <laughs> sorry, I I don't know if I can make a plug. But, oh yes. Yeah.、Uh, yeah. If anyone's looking to be a beta tester for my small bricks and mortar or small business, li- how to live stream and how to utilize it and how to leverage it to build your brand and your business, you know, co- contact me and I would love to put you on there. Uh, I'm doing regular webinars to show people on、um, online training and、um, my master class how to how to do it,、um, and yeah, I I just made that decision because what happened was a lot of people were asking me, "Do you have a course? How can I learn more about it?" And I also have a VIP day. That's it's it's、uh, it's only three and a half thousand dollars for the day,、uh, and then I have an hourly rate. But I found that people、uh, were. Wanted to to do it as a group, so through that I've met、um, and I've known him for a while. I'm working with James Wedmore. He's my he's my coach,、um, and honestly, the guy is amazing. The guy has just changed my life, and the people that I'm with, the group that I'm with in in this what I call a mastermind is is phenomenal. We're at next level, and I've learnt so much, and so I just I love it. I've got to tell you. It is much easier being an online entrepreneur than running a bricks and mortar business. Much easier. So if you guys are complaining about it, stop complaining and just do the work and get it done. All right. But it's also harder. <laughs> That's the other thing too. I've learnt so much because、uh, I can sell chocolates easy, but the big thing is <laughs> I've got to start selling in a different way. I've got、mm. to change. My, I've got a new set of skills.、Uh, I've got to learn a new set of skills. I've got to change my mindset. I've got to polish up my old skills and and reinvent myself, but not in a in a in, in, not in a bad way. In a good way, actually. I like what I'm doing. I enjoy this. It is so enjoyable to help people to know that、uh, someone out there is going to buy my course and they're、mm. going to become successful and they're going to do well. So, yeah, that that. I don't know. I suppose because I love also the chocolate business, but also I, you also need to look at、uh, a true entrepreneur has multiple streams of income. Whether you have a shares,、yes. you have property, you have、um, you know money sitting in the bank, or you have、uh, a recurring income through. You could have multi-level marketing. You could have、uh, you know on, an online business. A real entrepreneur. If you listen to all these guys who are very wealthy, they have multiple streams of income.、Oh. Absolutely, I just finished listening to Dory Clark, her book,、mm. The Entrepreneur You, and she talked about.、Uh, she shared in the book that she has seven, seven or ten、yeah. passing like passive、income. streams of income every single month. Like, look at us. Most of us has only one. I think that's almost like a paradigm shift in how we think about like receiving money. You know, like this stable job. I love how you are reinventing yourself. And、uh, and how transparent you are with us, Johnny. You know, you sold your course. You sold to one person, and that is amazing. And most people are probably afraid to share this. 
So thank you for sharing that with us and being so transparent. You know, this is a tough journey. Everyone has to start with zero. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So just uh, one parting piece of advice, and we are just going to wrap up here. And how can people discover more about you? And the beta course you mentioned, uh, you are seeking beta testers. If you can like insert the link or share the link with me, and because uh, I do a blog post recap of the interview, I will make sure to include the link in the blog, uh, in the recap, and also share the link here in the comment oh, section. I'll put it in after the after we finished. I'll put in all the comment. Do you mind if I put in my links to to the? Please, I'm do, please. Yeah, I'm doing a podcast. I'll, I've also got. Um, you can get me on uh, chocolatejohnny.com through my messenger. I love messenger bots. Oh my gosh, I've been playing with messenger bots for the last year or so, and they are so much fun. Um, and if you add that personal touch, so I'm I'm on messenger a lot. Um, I also, you know, you can get me on my email, uh, thechocolatejohnny at gmail.com, but I'll put them all up there after this. I, um, what's my last piece of advice? Um, my last piece of advice is just be yourself. Um, mm. Be true to yourself. Uh, you know what? You're going to you, – I don't mind telling people I've sold one because um, we were having a coaching call with James and I said uh, I sold one. Then I can sell two, and I can sell three, and then I can sell a thousand. As long as you're with integrity. You know, I've learned that word over and over again from my grandfather, from my father, and sometimes we exaggerate a bit, and sometimes we make ourselves look a little bit bigger, but you don't have to now. You really, you know, if you sold one, then you can sell two. If you sold a hundred, you can sell 200. So my piece of advice is, Start by pushing the push the start broadcast button. Get onto live mm -hmm. video. Get help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And thirdly, be yourself. Be you. Be true to yourself. You know, is this what you want to be portrayed? Do you want people to see you the way you are? And also your mindset. There are so many blocks in our brains. We, we we've grown up. We've been uh, conditioned by the old school, and that's why I love you so much with this. The, the title that you have, uh, uh, Without Walls, Without Walls. What a, what a great thing to educate people without walls because for so many years, the education system is tables and chairs and brick walls. Now, we're, we're, I can listen to you who is such a brilliant person who's got so much on, on you know, you're so, um, it just, you've, you know so much that I can learn from you just by listening to you. And, it, and I'm not saying it's free, but... I, I'm, I'm, how lucky am I and thousands of others can we can sit here. You've done the hard work. You're the one who mm -hmm. sat there and did the PhD. You're the one who sat there and studied oh. and did your master's and, 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 and studied all that time. I'm the lucky one who just sat, sits here and listens to you and go, okay, let me write what she said. What did she say? What did she say? So, oh, you're yeah. too kind. I think, yeah. I, think you should, I think everyone should take a step back Listen to people who you love, who you love listening to, and, and, and acknowledge them as well. I think people should start celebrating other people. Guys, stop oh. talk. Please start celebrating other people. If you see someone who's successful, get on the phone and leave a message. Hey, David. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Susie. Hey, Peter. I just saw what you achieved. Love it. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, from, I'm learning so much from you. Keep it up, the great work. And if ever I can help you, um, I'm always here. Chuckle Johnny, see ya. How long did that take? Oh, this is amazing. Ten yeah. seconds. Ten seconds. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. people... And that's... Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, exactly. And when people receive that video, I know we exchange a few videos. Yeah. <laughs> and every time when I see your videos or hear your voice, it's just a totally new level of connection. And you just like, oh, this person is like, it's the next... Uh, close to you know being in person, you feel like this person is almost there being with you. So that's but great. Built, yeah. But the, we've built that relationship, and I classify you as a friend. You know, I, I, if you come to Australia, we'll you know we'll take your kids out. They'll come. Your kids, your husband will come to the shop, and we'll eat chocolate, and we'll have hot chocolates, <laughs> and we'll go for a drive. If I come to you, I know you'll 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 be hospitable to me. You know, we'll go for a coffee. That's that's that's. People got to realize once you push the broadcast button, people, that's what you get.
oh my God, it's such a great feeling. When you see someone online and you see them in real life, the hug is like seeing a friend you haven't seen in 20 years. Isn't that true, I? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I, as I mentioned, I just came back from the conference, social media conference mm-hmm. in San Diego. Like Zella, many people here, we, it is the first time we saw each other in person. We were just like hugging each other and kissing each other online. Like being engaging with each other online has definitely brought us closer. It, it, we just true. feel like like a family reunion, you know, it's not the first time you see each other, but like a reunion with your longtime friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. And uh, I know that we can just talk about this and sit here (laughs) forever. And I so appreciate everyone joining us live, especially you, Chocolate Johnny. And thank you. Thank you so much for sharing everything. And uh, I learned even more from you and press the button, everyone. And I'm exactly, exactly. And celebrating others, so many great pieces of advice. And uh, so please don't forget to share this. Share, okay, like, and, and comment. We, yes, we share, like, share, and comment. Share, like, and comment. Share, like, and comment. Share, like, and comment. Let's do this because you're going to have, have a chance a, to... <laughs> yeah, you should have I should a, have a t-shirt. Share, I, I like, I, comment. Share, like, comment. I, don't, I wonder if I could just quickly... Let's see if I could do this for you. Uh, hang on. Can I reverse? Can I change this? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, oh. There, there's, there's some bit. Look at that. Those big Easter eggs. But um, uh, this is one of the, I'll just show you quickly. This is one of the boxes. This is the box that someone's going to win, all right? Oh, That's a perfection me. box. Yeah, gold, gold box. So, guys, please share it out. Make a comment, like it, and I's going to pick someone randomly, and you're going to win a Perfection Chocolate. This section was proudly sponsored by Perfection Chocolates. <laughs> this is the best live session we did. So much laughter and so much great content with an amazing guest, and thank you so much. And don't forget to share, like, and comment. And that's... <laughs> Okay. Try some some best chocolate. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, thank you again. Hugs, yeah. hugs, hugs with you and everyone. Thanks, everyone. Love you guys. Yes. Thank you. Yes. See you next week. Bye, Johnny. Bye, I. Thank you. Appreciate it. See you guys. Uh, bye. Thank you.